What's going on, people? Y'all know that we back with another video, and y'all know we is on day 23 of 30 Days of Photoshop. I am here showing you a quick video. I finished this image, and I just want to show you how to extend the background when you want a wider background. Maybe you want your background bigger to give more of that high fashion feel. So I'm here to show you and help you accomplish that. So we get straight right into it. Remember, go download the editing training and the retouch actions. You probably didn't heard me say this seven times by now, but if you still ain't got it, I don't even know what to tell you. Link is in the description. For all my new people that may be watching this video, you probably ain't heard it, but I have a free editing and retouching pack in the description for you. Comes with a practice image. Go download that, man, if you want to become a better editor. So first thing you want to do is hit Command-J. You know we never work on the background layer. Then what we're going to do is going to go to the crop tool. The crop tool, you can hit C on the keyboard. I have my dimensions set for Instagram, which is 1080 by 1350, but we're not working on that today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my image to as big as I want it to be. So let's say I want to be a little dramatic, right? And I'm going to give it some room at the bottom. Same thing. Cool. I'm going to hit enter. Next thing I am going to do. Next thing I am going to do is I am going to, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. <laughs> Come here. Select around us the rectangular marquee tool. Come and I'm just going to stretch this all the way to the top. I'm using the rectangle marquee tool. But the key is you have to make sure you hold shift when you're dragging it. So I'm going to select with the rectangle marquee tool, make sure I interlap the blank space and the background space. Hit command T on your keyboard, control T. You're going to hold shift down and drag it. If you don't hold shift down, drag it, it's just going to do like this. And you don't want that because it's going to be disproportionate. So you want to hold shift down and drag it. Then you want to do the same thing. Thing for the size. It's a thing. <laughs> Same thing for the size. Circle makes you overlap both things. Hold shift down and drag it. And the same thing here. Hold shift down. Command T or control T. Hold shift down and drag it. And now you have a bigger image. A bigger background extend to give it that dramatic background effect. People, this works. It works. So that was just a quick and easy video for day 23. I hope that helped you from all my high fashion photographers that want that wide effect. What I need you to do is make sure you go download the editing training. Don't forget we have the certified retouchers five day boot camp coming up for all my people who are looking to retouch better. And I got something special for those who are going to be in a VIP. We're going to be talking about how to price your images for value so you can know what to charge for edits from here on out. Now, I appreciate you guys. I thank you and I love you. Catch you tomorrow. Peace.